Hi, I'm Bonnie Browning with the American <laughs> Culture Society, and I'm here with Leslie Stevenson, and you have a winning quilt. Isn't that exciting? I know. Have you ever won a blue ribbon at an AQS show before? No, I've never even been at an AQS show be until this year. Wow. Well, congratulations, because you were winning some really tough competition. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about your beautiful quilt. This is an <laughs> album. And now I know some of the blocks that are in there you made yourself. And so which ones did you design? I designed the baskets. Or I didn't actually the baskets. I, I borrowed from some of Ellie Sienkiewicz's designs. But the things in the baskets and the birds that are on them, I did. Okay. And I did some of the state blocks. Okay. That one I did. And so and those, do those have to do with places you've lived? Well, there are four people in our family, my husband, myself, and my two sons, and there's a block for each of us in the, for the state that we were born. Okay, all right. Well, so it's a nice commemorative quilt then, isn't it? Yes, every block represents a person in our family or, or an event or a trip that we took or something that was important to us. And so how long did it take you to make this quilt? I started in 1993 and it was finished last summer. So it took you 10 years. Long time. Yeah, long time. You know, my goal is to make one of these and I want to do my own designs. It's going to be a long time before I get that quilt finished. Yeah, it didn't really seem like a long time because it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the process. It wasn't like a goal to hurry up and get it done. So. And one of the things <clears throat> that you did on a lot of these blocks is you did some three-dimensional work, some ruching and some three-dimensional flowers. Yes, that was the fun part. That was the fun part. <clears throat> uh, okay, and now it's hand quilted and beautifully hand quilted, I might add, and there's a variety of different designs, and so did you do the quilting? No, I wasn't able to do the quilting. I finished the top and I did the stuffed work, and then I had a medical issue so that I wasn't able to finish quilting it. Okay, <clears> and so who did the quilting? Ann Houseman. I was so lucky to find her, and she was thankfully able to finish the quilt for me. Otherwise, it probably wouldn't have been finished. Okay, well, it's a beautiful quilt. Is there anything else you want to tell us about making the quilt that was unusual or interesting? Uh, maybe I should tell the people that designed some of the things that the blocks were based on. I made a list because I didn't want to forget, okay, didn't forget all anybody. Right. Well, let's share that because they'll want to know. Well, many of the blocks were based on designs by Ellie Sienkiewicz, and many were based on blocks by Di Dinah Jeffries with Garden City Gateworks. One block was was Valerie, Ac Valerie Ackrement, the butterfly block was based on her design. Mm -hmm. Anita Shackelford wrote a book on dimensional applique where I got a lot of the ideas for the flowers. Mm -hmm. Nancy Pearson of course also did a lot of the flowers designs. Mm -hmm. And uh, Val Moore is responsible for the design of the hibiscus on this block here. Okay, all right. Well, and you know what? Without all of these designers that are making these beautiful designs, we probably wouldn't get anything finished. That's would exactly we? <laughs> right. That's why I wanted to mention them because if it wasn't for her, I don't know. For them, I wouldn't know what I would have done because I cannot draw. Right, right. <clears throat> well, and you know what? That's one thing about quilting today is that you don't have to draw. We can buy books that have patterns in it that we can use. And thank goodness for that. And it also makes it so that we're keeping our whole industry alive. We're buying a lot of books and a lot of fabric to make quilts like these. That's a lot right. of different fabrics in there. And if it wasn't for the books that I had, I would not have even, even thought of this. Okay, well, congratulations on being a first place winner here at AQS Quilt Week in Grand Rapids. And you just told me a little bit ago that you were actually born in Michigan. I was born in Pontiac, Michigan, yes, okay. and raised there. All right, well, we're <laughs> glad you came to the show today and that we got to do this interview. And for those of you who've never entered a quilt show, an AQS quilt show before, all of our rules for 2015 are now on our website, which is quiltweek.com. Just click on the contest tab at the top and you'll be able to scroll down and get the 2015 rules. And we hope that you'll be sitting in this chair next year winning a ribbon. Good luck. <laughs>